The Honorable the Member for Harbour Grace, Port de Grave. And it certainly is an honour to speak to uh, such a private member's resolution, and I want to commend, of course, my colleague from Torn Gap Mountains. I know his wife, Lori Dyson, is very proud of him for, for bringing this forward. And to commend all speakers to this, because this is something that obviously we're, we are unanimous on. And, and, and it's, fair, it's, it's a no-brainer. I'm also proud to, to uh, partake today in the Moosehide campaign, but again, it's simply not a, a campaign that lasts a day. It's something that should last a lifetime in, in everything that we do. And when we see an example or we, or we witness this for ourselves, you know, the onus is on us to stand up, women and men, boys, girls, united. Um, I want to speak to my experience uh, prior to becoming an MHA representing the District of Harbour Grace, Port of Grave. I was a journalist for about 10 years. And as a journalist, and many journalists can, can, can attest to this, that there are some stories that will stay with you forever. Um, there are a, a, few, a few of those stories that I would like to talk about today. And uh, one comes to mind, the case of Anne-Marie Sharon. And you've prob you can, if you think back, uh, it was the summer, I think, of 2008, 2009. Around that time, um, a woman re was reported missing by her then common-law husband. Reported missing. I remember as a journalist, we were, we were sent you know, to the area where search and rescue uh, were searching uh, for, for the media scrum. And this went on day after day, week after week, for a number of weeks throughout the summer. And every day, this was my assignment. So I became very familiar uh, with, 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 the, with the victim's family, um, with, the with the situations surrounding this case. I mean, this, 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 this lady had a newborn baby, and I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that, that newborn, that little boy at the time who, who will grow up not knowing his mother. But lo and behold, um, first reported as a missing persons case, but it was then later determined, um, some months later, when campers from out of province, out of Newfoundland and Labrador, discovered remains in, in, a, in a gravel pit in, in the town of Kappa Hayden. And I'll just, we'll, ju we'll just never forget that. I mean, also, m one of the very first stories that I covered as a young journalist was starting off was I was sent to the Supreme Court of the province, um, and I believe it, it was an Aboriginal woman who, who, was, who was killed and murdered, and her body was stuffed under a staircase by the man she was seeing. So these are just some examples, I mean, and everyone, every honorable member in this house, um, our friends, our neighbors, we can all attest to this. We've all experienced it, whether directly or indirectly. And it is time, we see, we see a movement now, it's the Me Too movement, which we see started in Hollywood. We see it at the Oscars, just this past Sunday night, the Oscar Awards, uh, you know, the, the Emmys, the Grammys. Celebrities everywhere are standing up, and it's, and, and it's time that we all stand united against this, women and men. I'll also use an example of a popular band in the United States, uh, the Dixie Chicks. One of their, one of their biggest hits is, is Goodbye Earl. It's a great song, it's, it's, a, it's a great fun melody, but let me tell you that message and that song, those lyrics, they came from somewhere. They came from an experience. And it's, and it's not funny. But it's time that we, that, we, that we stand up, the onus is on all of us here, every one of us here, in every profession, to stand up for this. Violence against women and children are simply, or anyone for that matter, is not acceptable, whether it be bullying, whether it be sexual harassment, sexual misconduct, we must stand up. It is 2018. And so, I, again, I'm proud to speak to this PMR. I'm, I'm gonna, not going to take all my time. I know there are some other members that want to speak to this very important cause. Again, thank you to the member, and I look forward to the support of all members of this honorable house to support this private member's resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.